Getting subscribers on YouTube is hard, but I'm here to tell you how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new around here and you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe start creating. Now YouTube is the largest video sharing platform on the internet and for you to get noticed you need to kind of drill down into the core basics. You need to build that audience and you need to get your first 100 subscribers to kind of get that ball rolling. Now before I deep dive into the tips on how you can get your first 100 subscribers I want to know how long have you been creating videos on YouTube? Are you new? Are you looking to just start a YouTube channel? Or have you been around for a while and you're kind of struggling? How many subscribers do you have and what's your long-term goals? Please leave a comment down below. Grabbing those first 100 subscribers is all down to the fundamentals and the foundations that you lay down. So one, pick your niche. You need to understand what kind of videos you want to be making. There is a huge vast difference between daily vlogging, gaming and educational content, right? And it also depends on how you attack the route that you're going down. Let's say you decide to go down the educational route, just like me. You now need to decide what you're going to be teaching. Let's say you decide that you want to teach science. Now, drill down further into that niche. What type of science? Are we talking biology? Are we talking chemistry? Are we talking space? And now you've decided that you're going to do that specific science, you start noting it down, all the frequently asked questions for that niche, it's like a content guide to get you started. Make sure that's a niche that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours on end, that you love, that you find entertaining, you will never burn out and you can keep creating videos on. Two, get an okay camera. In fact, get okay-ish equipment. It doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. This right here is a webcam that cost me 35 pounds. And the, the kind of audio microphone which is right next to it is a webcam that cost me 15 pounds. And these, pretty much served me well in creating around about a thousand videos on YouTube so far. As long as people can hear you okay, and as long as they can see you okay, and it doesn't offend their eyes, then you should be fine. You'll tend to find that most people have a decent camera in their own hand, right? They just walk around and it processes just equally as well. All you have to do with mobile is worry about the audio, get a little mic or a little lapel thing, it should be fine. Three, you've picked your niche, You've got your recording equipment, now you need to think of your branding. Make sure that you've got a decent header banner and you need to make sure that your header banner ties into the thumbnails that you are creating so therefore they can look at your thumbnails and know it's you and look at your header banner and still see it's you and your header banner explains what you're doing and when you're doing it. So in my case, I do YouTube tricks and tips. I am Alan Spicer and I'm here to help. And in my thumbnails, it's my face my colour scheme and you know it's me at a long shot distance. Four, SEO. Now you've got your channel set up, you know what you're going to do, you know what your videos are about, you know what it looks like and now you need to start optimising the videos to match. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Why is that important? Because YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet, the first one being Google and Google owns YouTube so if you dominate on YouTube you'll dominate on search in Google and then it's a double header. You get more traffic, you get more people, you get more subscribers, and your brand can go everywhere. Now I have done many videos on search engine optimization. For a deep dive, there's a playlist up here. But make sure your titles are something that you would search for, that you have a solid description and quality tags that complement the title. Five, create regular videos. Now it's suggested by many YouTube educators that two to three videos a week is the kind of minimum you should be aiming for. But at the end of the day, when you're first starting, any videos online are better than none. Remember, they will not be amazing. They will be horrific. The first few videos online are always horrific until you get used to, that's how I create this, that's how I do my thumbnails, that's how I light it, that's how I talk to a camera, and you get comfortable talking to a camera. But regular content means that people know that you're regularly there. Try and set a set day. So if you publish on Tuesdays and Saturdays like me, then everybody knows on a Tuesday morning, oh, there's another Alan video. Oh, there's another Alan video on Saturday. Saturday, brilliant. And it keeps feeding the YouTube algorithm. The more videos you make in the long run, the more chances YouTube can find you. And try and space them out. Don't try and spam it all in one go. Don't put out 10 videos in one hour. Create 10 videos and drop feed them out every two to three days. And six, one of the best ways to guarantee that you continue to attract people to your channel that will subscribe is by hunting out trending topics. Keeping an eye on trending topics is a way to have a look that 
things that you need to be guiding your content towards. Now, if you're gaming, then it's slightly harder, but those trending topics could be a new game release. If you're vlogging and you're going to a, a music festival, then vlog the music festival. That's a fairly topical thing that you're doing right there and then. Or if you're just generally making discussion videos. So for example, on my Mr. Harry Brit channel, I talk about funny news, but I'm also talking about events that are coming up. I do help guides when it comes to festival seasons. I do top 10 tips for festival goers. Once again, festival season, it's a relevant topic. They're related, you get decent tags and they can get searched fairly well. Or of course, react to what's currently happening. Is it in the news? Is it on YouTube? Is it a drama? Is it a new fidget spinner craze? Is it the new Harlem Shake? Have a look at what's trending, have a look what's common, have a look what everybody's talking about. Go and have a look at Google Trends, it's a website, and try and react to those, and then that could be a good way of hooking in your first 100 subscribers. For more tricks and tips on how to grow your YouTube channel, there's a free PDF up here and in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button for two videos each and every week, every Tuesday and Saturday. Hit that notification icon to see my live streams. Go out there, start creating.